I think doing high class medical research and delivering improvements in health for the community requires three things. It requires first class infrastructure and this building provides that infrastructure. But it also requires equipment and it requires people with imagination and passion. And I think this building will allow us to attract funding agencies to equip the, the, the institute with the technology it needs. But probably more importantly, this new building will act as a magnet for talented people around Melbourne, in Australia and overseas to come to work at this institute and create a vibrant future. In the whole building program, I think there were some really exciting moments. The first was, and this is going to sound very odd, but when we had an, a cleared site and we dug the foundations down to their lowest point, um, that was really exciting and daunting because it was looked like a quarry and you know the question was, were we going to be able to erect a fantastic building in a timely fashion? I guess the next point was the topping out point when we built to eight floors and had a shell of a building. And then finally, I think the most exciting point was having finished the project and having people move into the new building and starting their experiments. And you know, a testament to the people managing the project was that experiments were being done within a few days of the scientists occupying the building. And I think that's a sign that the project has run very smoothly. When I think about the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, I really think it's the community's building. So one of the challenges um, with medical research is getting the community to engage with the researchers. We've spent a lot of time thinking about how to do that. And the Galleria, which is uh, a, a, a long tunnel that links the uh, old building with the new building, offers a fantastic uh, place to do that. So on one side of the Galleria, we have uh, a whole series of video screens on which um, scientific animations are played, and they're really inspiring. They capture uh, the community's immediate attention and turn them to thinking of medical research. And on the other wall of the gallery, we have a timeline that shows almost a 100-year history of the Institute and the sorts of discoveries that people have made here. And I think combining that history with the new style of animation is a wonderful way to capture the community's imagination. One of the big challenges in health and medical research is staying up with the competition, not just nationally but internationally. And over the last few years, there's been uh, amazing programs of building um, in, in interstate in Australia, around this campus and, and throughout the world. So for us, having a first class building that really is going to, to suit our needs for the next 20 or 30 years is crucial to be able to attract the, the brightest young medical researchers to trust us, um, to work with us and to be part of Walter and Eliza Hall Institute's future.